Alrighty, welcome back to GG Gaming. So, we got a fun one for you here, a little bit different, but just give you the idea and let you see the end result, because this thing takes forever to set up. We're going to do a one-hit KO with Mewtwo. So, we'll talk about how to set your Mewtwo up, and then kind of what the raid is going to look like. But I'm not actually going to do the raid, I'm just going to show you the end clips of me actually winning this thing. One fail, one win, so you can kind of see where, where this thing goes, alright? Um, because there's a little bit of RNG in making this work, but it is a lot of fun, and it does work. So, let's get over and talk about this Mewtwo. Okay, so for your Mewtwo, in order, for, in order for you to make this work and actually do this one shot if you would like to, you're going to run Psychic Terry type with a Life Orb Held item, right? Life Orb Held item is key because it does give you a 30% boost to your attacks um, in exchange for taking a little bit of damage after each hit. Moves, we're going to run Stored Power, Calm Mind, Bulk Up, and Recover. Stored Power does more damage based on how many buffs that you have. With Calm Mind and Bulk Up, we're going to be maxing out four different stats. So both defensive stats, both attack stats, you can already see max out four stat lines and you're going to do a ton of damage all right and then in terms of your evs go ahead and throw in uh at least max special attack uh hp or you could split your defenses if you would like um kind of depending on your the healer in your party the clips that i'm going to show you we have gardevoir as our healer gardevoir really worked really really well um arbolivia i'm not sure arbolivia would be able to keep you alive it might be a little bit closer but uh definitely give it a try and let me know how that goes recover the fourth move there make sure you put the the power points into that get that up to eight because you will need all eight of those or close to it to get this win all right so let's jump into this raid we'll start this raid but then we won't finish it and then we'll cut to the clips where we actually finish this thing just because it takes so long to set up and actually get the win okay so i do want to walk you through the first steps though so that you understand how this thing works Okay, here we go. We're in, so we do have a, a, a fairly good party, but like I said, we're not going to actually finish this raid just from the amount of time that it takes to set up. Um, and you don't care anyway. You just want to see the end result. So what do you do to start this thing out? We're going to use Stored Power, but we're not going to use it on Fernate because if we want this to be a one-hit KO, we're going to use it on Tauros, all right? Or, or any of your other NPCs, whatever you want. The key to that is it allows you to use Stored Power and build your Terra energy without attacking Infernate because we just want to hit him one time and one time only and fully knock him out. Kind of the name of the game and then once we get our terra energy set up and ready to go we will uh buff mewtwo but we're only going to do a couple of them. we're gonna have to do a couple more towards the end why because one if he gets nasty plot up before you get enough calm minds set you're going to take too much damage and your mewtwo's going to go down so we're going to do two uh four powers and then i'm going to run straight into Calm Mind, because there he is. He can reset our stats. All right, so straight into the Calm Mind. We'll get a couple Calm Minds up. So this is where you're sort of going to cycle. You're going to cycle to recover when needed. You're going to do Calm Mind, bulk up, Calm Mind, bulk up, etc. Until you max out all of those stat lines. All right, it's really the, the name of the game for this. So as you see, we're down already into the red. So we'll just go straight to recover, and then we'll finish cycling this. We'll, we'll max out all of our stats. We'll get the other two. Uh, Stored power attacks um, on our NPCs, and we'll be ready to go. So from here, we're just going to cancel out of this one, run away, and then go check out the actual clips. In fact, we'll just let that play in the background, and we'll go straight to the clips. To the album. So we got two different Mewtwo clips here. All right, one of them, we failed. The second one, we succeeded. They both have the exact same HP line when I was ready to attack. So pay attention to that. So this first one is the failure. All right, so here we go. HP line with a shield is right there between the A and the L on Unrivaled. Okay, so Mewtwo is fully built. We had a Gardevoir in this party. Helped a ton, um, keeping us alive to get fully set. So there goes the sword power. We're fully maxed. Boom. Right there. Just, just a sliver. And that was a fail. Didn't work. Go check out the other one. Again, same deal. Fully max Mewtwo with stored power. HP is basically in the same spot. Kind of crazy. It, it, it fluctuates that much. I'm not really sure what the difference was here outside of just damage rolls. Um, so same party, Gardevoir, uh, Arcanine, but otherwise nothing else changed. And you see the time left. It takes a while to set this up, and that's why we're skipping these to show you the results. Boom. There you have it. One hit KO. 
with the fully maxed four stat lines with this Mewtwo. So, they restarted. So, totally not sure what the difference was there. But hey, hope you enjoyed that. Go set up your Mewtwo, hit that one hit KO, or get it super close. Because even this first one actually, even though we knocked him out and got him down to uh, kind of that point right there. He, he died. The NPCs right here, they, I, they, I believe they knock him out. Um, I don't think there's enough time in the video, with, but no. So either way, you get the idea. A lot of fun. Definitely works. Very, very close, especially on time. Not not time efficient whatsoever. It takes forever to set up, but it is a lot of fun. So hope you enjoyed that. Go set up your Mewtwo. Smack this guy, and let's have some fun. Drop a like, hit the sub button, let me know what you think, and check out the other showcases. See you in the next one.